Hi everyone! Today's sew along is for a pretty wrap style dress with a gathered waistline and slightly gathered sleeve caps. This is a great project for any skill level, but what makes it particularly easy is that we're not dealing with any buttons or zippers. The pattern is the Noor Wrap Dress. It's another great pattern by fabricsstore.com. I've left the link for you below so you can print it out and sew it with me today. Go ahead and subscribe and share this video with other sewists you know who might like it as well. Now let's get started. You will need two front bodices mirrored, one back bodice cut on the fold, two sleeves mirrored, two front skirts mirrored, one back skirt cut on the fold, two neck bindings cut on the bias, and two yards of ribbon or twill tape for your ties. Place your two front pieces right sides together with your back piece and pin your shoulder seams. Sew your shoulder seams with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and then serge them together and press them toward the back. Now let's create our bias tape for the neckline binding. With your two neckband pieces, place them perpendicular to each other at the top edge, forming a square where they intersect. Then we're going to stitch from one corner of the square across to the other corner of the square. Trim the seam to about an eighth of an inch and take it to your ironing board. Using my 18 millimeter bias tape maker, I'm going to feed my fabric through and iron as I go. Now that our bias tape is prepared, let's attach it to our neckline. With right sides together, match the center area of where your two neckbands joined with the center back of your neckline and pin. Continue pinning all around both sides of the neckline. Now we're going to stitch the neckband to the neckline, stitching inside the crease that we made when we ironed, all the way around. Now that my neckline is sewn to the bodice, with my bodice wrong side up, I'm going to fold this bias tape over that seam and pin. You want to make sure that this bias tape is just covering the stitches that we just made. This way, when we go to stitch in the ditch on the other side, we will be catching this seam. Continue folding and pinning the entire neckline. Now that I'm done pinning my neckline and sewing from the right side of the garment, I'm going to stitch in the ditch all the way around, making sure to catch the edge of the bias tape on the wrong side as I sew. Grab your two sleeve pieces. For each sleeve piece, we're going to be basting the sleeve cap so we can pull the gathers to set it into the armhole of the bodice. Start your basting stitches a half inch away from the notch you marked for the back, all the way to the other side, a half inch away from the notch you made for the front. I've pulled up my bobbin thread so I have threads to start with for gathering. Stitching about a quarter inch from the edge, I'm using a five millimeter stitch length. Leave yourself a tail of threads at the end as well. I finished gathering both sleeve caps, and now it's time to attach them to the bodice. Place your sleeve on your bodice right sides together and pin matching your notches. You will have a shoulder notch as well as front and back notches. I'm going to go ahead and pin from my armhole to my first notch because I know that material will fit perfectly. Do this for both sides of the armhole. And now we're ready to pull our gathers. Starting on one side of the shoulder seam, pull your gathers to fit. Once it's eased in, go ahead and pin. Once you're done pinning, sew your sleeve to the armhole with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Do this for both sleeves. I've sewn both sleeves to my bodice and now I'm going to finish the seams with my serger. Now that our sleeves are sewn and serged, we're ready to sew the side seams and underarm seams. 
With each side seam and underarm seam right sides together, go ahead and pin. Do this for both sleeves. Sew both side seams and underarm seams with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and then serge. To hem our sleeves, we're going to fold them a half inch to the wrong side and press. And then roll it one more time a half an inch over on itself and press again. Now take it to your machine and edge stitch close to the inner fold. Do this for both sleeves. Now grab your two front skirt pieces. For each front skirt piece, we're going to be ironing the straight center front edges. We will fold and press them once at 3 8 inch and then fold and press again at half an inch. Once we've done that, and then edge stitch close to the inner fold. Now with your back piece right side up, let's attach our front pieces. Lay your front piece on your back piece right sides together and pin or clip the side seams. Do this for both front panels. Sew both side seams with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and serge. Now that our front and back skirt pieces are attached, baste the top of the skirt. We will be basting each skirt panel separately. So starting with one front panel, baste about an eighth of an inch away from the edge with your five millimeter length stitch from the corner all the way to the side seam. Leave long tails and cut. Begin a new set of basting stitches for your back panel from seam to seam and repeat the new set of basting stitches for your other front panel. Pull up the bobbin thread at the beginning of your stitches so you have tails to start with for gathering. Now grab your bodice and lay it right side up and place your skirt piece on your bodice right sides together, matching center backs and pin. Also match and pin your side seams, as well as your front center seams. Begin pulling each set of gathering stitches, distribute them evenly from pin to pin, and then pin the entire section. Now that our gathers are completely pinned, it's time to sew. Sew with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and then serge. Now it's time to prepare the ties. You will need four 18 inch ties for this dress. I've chosen to use two pieces of twill for the inside ties and two ties made out of the main fabric for the ties that will be visible from the outside. I cut strips one and a half inches wide and 18 inches long of my main fabric, tucked and pressed the outside edges to the inside, folded it again to create a thin tie, and then edge stitched the outside to seal it to create a strip measuring about half an inch wide. And I folded over the short edges a couple of times and sewed it closed with my sewing machine. I also folded the short end of my twill tape for both pieces, sewed them shut with a needle and thread. And now I'm going to attach my ties to the right and left side of my front bodice pieces. I'm taking one of my main fabric ties and at that waistline seam, placing the raw end of my tie about a half inch in from the center seam and clipping at the waistline. On the other side, I'm going to place my twill tape again to the inside, allowing it to overlap about a half an inch, clipping in place. Now I'm going to take these to my sewing machine and sew a square formation around that overlapped tie edge to seal it. Do this a few times to make sure it's secure and do this for both ties. Now that my center front ties are secure, I'm going to sew the remaining sides on the side seams. Because I attached this interior twill tie on my left front, I'm going to take the other piece of twill tape and place it inside the dress on the right side seam, overlapping that side seam by about half an inch, right at the waistline and pinning in place. Now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and sewing through all layers, sew a small square formation a few times to secure just as we did for the front ties. 
I'll be sewing the remaining exterior tie on the outside of my left side seam. I'm going to take the raw edge of that exterior tie and fold it over about a half an inch to make it a clean finish as I go to pin it to my dress. And with right sides together, precisely on that left side seam, place that folded edge and pin. I'm going to take it to my machine and sew a square formation just as I did for all the other ties. And the very last step of the construction of this dress is to hem the bottom. Because the fabric that I chose already had a scalloped edge that I included on the bottom, I don't need to hem this. But for all other fabrics, you would fold it to the inside a half an inch, and then a half an inch again, and edge stitch along that inner fold, just as we did for the sleeves. And then you're finished with your dress. Thank you so much for watching this sew along. Make sure you check out my other videos for more great sewing for your wardrobe. I'll see you next time.